Hello, my name's Amy. I'm an indie author with eight published books and this is the start of my second vlog for NaNoWriMo 2019. Today is now Tuesday. I think it's the 12th. Honestly, I'll have to check that. Which means if you watched my last vlog, you will know that I have missed quite a few days. The biggest reason for that is just that life was kind of stressful over the last few days. We had some really big things going on and I just needed to focus on those. But honestly, the writing has been really hit and miss, particularly over the weekend. On Sunday, I did absolutely nothing. And actually yesterday, which was Monday, I also did absolutely nothing. So overall, last week was not too bad. My big goals this month are all to do with editing Cybernation. And last week I got in over three hours of editing. So I did meet my target on time. I was really hoping to finish three or four chapters. I think I managed two and a half. So not 100% on track there, but not far off. And it's better progress than I was making before November. As for drafting, that was a bit of a disaster. So I talked in my last vlog about having some doubts about what I should be working on, whether I should actually be drafting a big epic fantasy at the moment, which is what I'd started working on. Instead, I moved back to editing another book, a space opera that I wrote in the summer. I have still been making progress on that. The printed out manuscript comes to about 250 pages, I am currently at 90 pages. My tripod is resting on the manuscript right now. So I'm reading through that and I'm doing my usual editing process of writing lots of notes to myself and lots of questions that need to be answered in the story. I don't always print out my manuscripts, but this is just a really handy way for me to keep track of where I am and to just work on a little bit at a time. This is something that I can just leave out on our kitchen table and just read a couple of pages here and there in between doing other things. So far that's been working really well. So now we are into a new week and like I said, I did absolutely nothing yesterday and I haven't touched anything today either. I had pretty bad insomnia last night, which did not put me in a frame of mind this morning to do any work. I've pretty much just been lounging around. I am definitely hoping to change that this afternoon though. I really want to get back to Cybernation because I haven't touched it for a few days. It's definitely time I finished the chapter that I was working on last week. And doing another three hours of editing is my only goal this week. I haven't set myself any drafting goals. Winterlands is definitely on the back burner. The space opera is something I will pick away at when I can but Cybernation is 100% my priority. Like I said, I am definitely behind because I didn't touch it yesterday, but I am gonna sit down with it this afternoon and see how it goes. Hello again, it's now Thursday. I think it's technically the end of week two of NaNoWriMo. I didn't vlog yesterday because we weren't at home much and because of that, I didn't do a lot of writing. To be honest, this week as a whole has been really slow on the writing front. I'm trying to pick things up again now because I've got the next few days fairly quiet and I really want to make some good headway. So this morning I have been reading through more of the Oracle's Bones. I think I'm about halfway through now. I've been making notes as I go, obviously, so it's not really fast work. What's really striking me is because I am editing two books at once, something that I very, very rarely do, I'm really noticing the difference in the processes between Cybernation and the Oracle's Bones. Cybernation is much longer for one thing, but the entire editing process has been a completely different beast. Structurally, Cybernation was really pretty good. Now I wrote the first draft fast, Really, I took about two months to write nearly 100,000 words. But through a combination of a decent outline and honestly what feels like a lot of luck, the structure of that book is good. The plot works. In edits, I have not had to change much of that. I moved some stuff around in the first half, 
but other than that I'm really looking at a lot of details. It's very slow and painstaking work which is why it is taking me so long but it hasn't needed a massive developmental edit. The oracle's bones on the other hand is completely different. I also wrote this book fast and it's much shorter, it's only about 60,000 words. Actually, technically, it's more like 50 to 55,000 because I didn't finish the last few chapters. Whilst there's definitely some stuff I like in the Oracle's Bones, like I really felt I nailed the characters and the dynamic of them. They're the crew of a ship, they're spending a lot of time together, and that's something that came together for me really early on in planning this book. But a lot of the rest of the book is a mess, really. I'd planned out big set piece scenes I wanted to include and honestly I hadn't thought them through. There are massive plot holes, there are new technologies that I introduce into the book that make absolutely no sense with the plot, there are characters making decisions that I don't properly explain and in some cases I can't explain because they're completely out of character and the whole thing just needs a lot of work. There are definitely chapters that I read and I find they do work quite well and it is just mostly details to fix them up. But there are other chapters where I'm just crossing out huge chunks. A lot just needs to be scrapped and rewritten. I don't have an answer for why the editing processes on these two books are so different. My feeling at the moment is that I just had a more consistent vision for Cybernation. I knew what I wanted to achieve and I had a very set vision of the world. I think I actually knew less of the plot in advance going into that book, but because everything had to match this vision, it meant that I always knew what was the right thing to pick to make the story work. Clearly this was something that was very lacking in the Oracle's Bones. I have thrown in so much random stuff and some of it just doesn't work. So it is a slow editing process on both books but it is absolutely completely different and I didn't expect that. Honestly I very very rarely edit more than one thing at once. I'm doing it at the moment because it's the most sensible business decision. Both these books are ones I want to publish in the next six months. They're the books that are closest to being finished out of the many I have half done. And that is pushing me to work on both at the same time. Normally I would be working on something like Cybernation and then drafting something completely different. But as I've said, that's just not what's happening at the moment. And I find it quite strange that I'm working on two books that I have clearly written. I drafted both of them, not even that far apart. There are only a few months between me finishing Cybernation and going on to draft The Oracle's Bones. And yet they are so, so different. There is a saying that you don't learn how to write books. You only learn how to write this book. That is definitely feeling true to me this week. So I am going to keep pressing on with these edits. I honestly don't know which book is going to be finished first at this point. But I'm going to keep going and I will check in with you another day. It's Monday, it's the 18th of November. That means we are well past the halfway point of NaNoWriMo and I can't actually remember when I last updated this vlog. Last week was really busy. I hadn't thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to just buckle down and get loads of writing done. And I did get a decent amount of writing done, but I was also not at home very much. So my brain is kind of a bit all over the place at the moment. This week is also looking much busier than I expected and I just don't even know what I'm doing. The good things about last week are I finished and uploaded my Chronicles of Tyria chapter on time and the edits for Cybernation are going really well. I did about another three hours on those last week so I'm hitting my targets there. I'm really pleased to have finally given myself some concrete goals for this book, to be honest. Yes, I don't have a deadline, but I do have this time goal every week and it's working really well for me at the moment. I am now well past the halfway point of the book. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last update. I should be wrapping up chapter 16 today out of 29 chapters. Apart from that, things are kind of up in the air. 
I'm still reading through the Oracle's Bones. I'm about two thirds of the way through that. This is a book that keeps throwing me surprises. Some of the chapters are really good and don't need a lot of work. And some of them are an absolute mess. I never can tell when I'm drafting a book how much work it's going to need in edits. This one needs more than some. So I'm still working my way through that. Might be done by the end of the week. I'm not sure I actually want to be properly editing two books at once though. I think Cybernation might be enough on its own on that score. So I'm kind of left wondering what else to do. There is only so much time and energy I can give to Cybernation every day. I have talked about this a little bit before, how it's useful to have something else easier for me to work on while my daughter is awake. And right now that is definitely not editing. But with the Oracle's Bones reaching that point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I made a huge list the other day of all the projects that I am currently working on, that I have started the series of but not finished, also books that I've written a few chapters of but not finished the first drafts, and also books I want to write but I haven't started at all. This list gets bigger and bigger every time I look at it. There's probably something like 12 series on there now. Some of the books are standalones, which is good. Some of them could be many books. I was kind of trying to think about which of those books would be a sensible thing to work on next, and honestly, I don't know. I've got some series I want to finish, but I'm not really feeling compelled to work on them at the moment. I could go back to Winterlands that I talked about in my last vlog, but that is a really major undertaking, and it's the start of yet another trilogy. So I'm not sure that's sensible either. I do have some standalone fantasy books in progress. Might be good to return to one of those. But honestly, I haven't made any decisions yet. I'm very much in a place where as long as I get my work done on Cyber Nation and do my serial fiction every couple of weeks, apart from that, I'm just letting myself work on whatever I feel like working on. I'm very aware that I could be making more progress if I just picked one project and stuck to it. But I also feel that sometimes I'm happier and more creative if I allow myself to just jump around between different stories. One thing is my very definite focus. That's Cybernation and it's going well. Any spare time, I'll just see where the mood takes me. The funniest thing is though that all my writing and publishing plans for this year pretty much fell apart in the spring. Everything has just taken longer than I wanted it to do. And one project I was going to be editing probably this month is completely off my schedule now. But I always said that if I had time at the end of this year, I would come back to a standalone fantasy that I started working on last December. I kind of did a very short novella, long short story, which I finished writing last winter and I wanted to either expand that into a novel or write a novel follow-up. And I'm actually thinking of doing that now. That is the one thing that I have come back to that I actually scheduled a year ago. So we will see whether that goes ahead. I have got so many things to be working on and I keep changing my mind literally from day to day on what I want to work on next. I will see what I pick this week and keep you updated. It's now Wednesday the 20th and I feel like I've done a supremely bad job of keeping this vlog updated. I honestly didn't know how much writing I was going to get done this week. We've had family staying and there's just lots of other life stuff happening. But I've kind of surprised myself. In the last three days, I've managed nearly two hours of editing on Cybernation, and that's way more than I expected to get done. The only caveat is that I haven't worked on any other writing projects, but I'm not too worried about that because the editing's been going really well. 
I'm now about halfway through chapter 18. I've been saying all along really that what I really needed to get this edit going was to give myself some kind of deadline. I know I'm not strictly doing NaNoWriMo because I'm not drafting anything at all right now, but having the self-imposed pressure of I am just trying to get as much done as possible this month has really helped. I was definitely coasting along with this edit until November arrived. And that means I'm now really close to being two thirds of the way done. Now I know progress at the moment has been relatively quick, partly because some of these middle chapters didn't need too much work. I know the end is rougher and some of that is going to be much slower to finish. But right now I will just take whatever I can if it helps get this book done quicker. And actually that's about all I have to update you with tonight. I've been putting a lot of thought into what I want to draft next and also if there's anything else I want to work on once I've finished reading The Oracle's Bones. I'm not sure I can edit both at once so I might start drafting something else until Cybernation is done. But honestly I haven't reached any conclusions. I have so many projects in progress or just touched or not started at all and I don't know where to turn next. But because I haven't managed to make a decision, I feel like I'm jumping around between loads of different things. In the last week or two, I have looked at maybe four different stories other than Cybernation and the Oracle's Bones. That is really just getting ridiculous. I need to make a decision. And I possibly have done. One thing is winning out at the moment. I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the vlog. I think I did. Anyway, I wrote a fantasy novella last December. I came back to it this week with the intention of looking at writing a follow-up story. Now I'm actually thinking that the novella itself needs expanding into a novel. I think it would work much better that way. I'm probably going to do some planning for that tonight and I might carry on with it in week four of NaNoWriMo. I am definitely missing drafting. I can only keep my mind on editing for so long before I get a bit fed up. But I am going to save that for next week's vlog. This is where I'm wrapping up weeks two and three. So please comment below on how your NaNoWriMo is going. I have seen the whole range of word counts this month. I've seen people who've hit 50,000 words already or even above and people who are only just getting started. For the last week, I am going to be continuing on with my strange, not quite NaNoWriMo challenge. It's going pretty well so far. It's very clear I'm not going to be finishing the edit in the next week, but I am making good progress. So we'll see how that goes in the next vlog. In the meantime, keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.